Ah, he wants to come closer <laughs> to me. We're hiring a new corgi. Thanks, hey. corgi on the lot. <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. Jeffrey is here. Hey. Hi. And we actually just filmed a BarkBox video, which I'm gonna throw into this vlog. Um, but take a look at the crazy mess. Oh my gosh. This is why Mochi's not usually allowed on the couch. Oh my God, look at all that hair. So for those of you wanting a precious little corgi, keep in mind, dun dun dun. I know, we've been trying to like, roll this fur off of us. Pretty good. And we both happen to be wearing really dark colors today. Mm -hmm. Look, my ring light. So I moved the couch from the middle of the room to the side so that way we could have like a wall behind us to film. But here is the bark box little video. Please excuse the fact that it's kind of all over the place. I'm still kind of getting back into the groove of vlogging and stuff again. So enjoy. Look at you. He just knows he's the star of the show. He's not usually allowed on the couch. Okay, so it's been a really long time since I've filmed some videos and I've been holding on to Mochi's bark box. You can see how anxious he is to open it um, because I really wanted to film a video for it. And today I have Jeffrey here. Hey. Hi. What's up YouTube? As you know, it's Brittany's world. So this is my channel and I'm Brittany. So today we are opening BarkBox. If you don't know what BarkBox is, it is a monthly subscription for your little furry friend, which uh, they do only dogs, I believe. And so Mochi is a medium sized dog, so I get him the medium box and it usually comes with like five items in it. And so you're about $4 an item, which is pretty good. If you've ever been to the pet store, toys are usually like $9 a piece. Treat bags are like five or six dollars a piece so it's a really good deal and this actually saves me quite a bit of money on toys and treats he's got a lot of toys too he gets a lot he gets a lot and what's yeah. cute is like the toys are all themed so sometimes you'll have like a fourth of july box a new year's box a christmas box they're all themed which is really cute so if you use the code mochi the corgi he gets a month for free and so will you for your first month oh my goodness you're so crazy. all right so let's go ahead and open the box Ooh. okay look it looks like Alice in Wonderland themed. Okay, first item in the... <laughs> is in the box? Wait. Is... <gasps> Treats! So it says, we all whack here. What is in here? It's like salmon, rice, oatmeal treats. You want a piece? He's like, yes. Please. You want to spot on the couch too? Oh my God, all this hair. Ow, 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 <laughs> just lay down. Your little paws are hurting me. Uh-uh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. What do you think of that one? You know what's funny? So there's little cats on it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my gosh. He's not usually this crazy. Hey! Alright, next item in the box. <gasps> a whole it looks like a little mushroom! Oh, Alice in Wonderland themed. So it looks like you can stick treats in here or like peanut butter. And then there's a little hole at the top, so it's kind of like a calm, but like a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, you want it? There's no food in it though. Next item. Like, nope. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it looks like this is Queen of Bark. And there's like a little queen on the front. And they're little heart-shaped treats. These are cheese, oatmeal, brown rice. Other stuff. All right, come up. So Mochi actually gets allergy friendly treats and you can actually specifically tell them if your dog has allergies, which is nice. Oh my God. I think he likes them. Come here. Uh-uh, gentle, gentle, gentle. I'm a piranha from the He's Amazon. a piranha. There you go. My goodness, he's half piranha. Hide these over here. Oh my gosh. No, get up here. That's your spot, mister. You got something else in here unless you want me to give it to your uncle. Oh, he's got two more things in here. It's a good deal. Well, I guess we'll go with the food item. It's like a granola bar. All right, looks, yeah, it looks like a granola bar. I don't know if it's focusing, but a convenient snack with a purpose for your dog. And it's organic, it's raw whole food. So this is nice if you take your dog for a walk or if you're not gonna be home for a while, it's a little snacky snack you can give a doggy. We'll save it for, wait, 
You want your last toy? You want your last toy? And this one is, look, you come up. Look, it's a little heart rubber ball. You know, thing of hearts. Here, you want a ball? He, no, he just wants treats. I uh, know, he's just Typical throwing dog. his toys in the corner. All the paper has like little Alice in Wonderland art on it. You all can see it. All right, you guys. So let's see how many things he got. He got two bags of treats. He got a little snacky bar, and then he got two toys. So that's pretty good. All of this was 20 bucks, and so I think it's worth it. The only thing is you have to commit to either six months or 12 months uh, for the bark box, but honestly, I spend 20 bucks easily in a day on food for myself. So spending 20 bucks a month on my dog, it's really not that bad. But thank you guys so much for watching, and on with the vlog. So I really hope that you enjoyed the bark box video. Oh my gosh, or the bark box segment of this video. Um, Mochi, you can tell by how insanely crazy he is that he loves bark box time. And um, because I waited a really long time to film the bark box video, we'll be having another bark box video very soon because that one's about to come in the mail. Hopefully it's back to school. Oh yes. Actually, you know, one of his um, bark box before was back to school and he got this pencil. I don't know where the eraser part is. I have it somewhere. Hi. Okay, so now we have to vacuum and clean this mess up. If only we can get mochi in the... You're so much darker than I am. You know, trying to get a dog to cooperate is very difficult. Come on. We're trying to get a thumbnail picture. Hey you, am I gonna have to Photoshop you in? Back, back, over here. Can I have the next corgi, please? Hi, I'm your corgi. Ah, he wants to come closer to me. <laughs> We're hiring a new corgi. <laughs> Thanks, hey. corgi, on the lot. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm at a girls night and all the girls are eating deliciousness food and fried food and I'm here eating a salad and it's hard and sometimes I literally have to make myself stay home so I won't go out and cheat and I know that a big part of this is because I haven't been really sticking to keto 100% you know, I have little things here and there. I, I kind of do the whole if it fits your macros, which you're really not supposed to do. Um, but the most important thing and the thing that I'm most proud of myself is the fact that I keep getting back on keto. So I might have a slip up here and there, but I get right back on it. If I don't get back on the keto diet as soon as I can, then I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna gain back all the weight that I lost. Because it's so easy to do that without even realizing it. Anyways, I'm having cravings and I'm trying not to go crazy and that's kind of my story tonight Have you ever had something that's on your to-do list for like ever but you just can't make yourself do whatever it is Something like I don't know mopping the floors and sweeping and vacuuming and stuff like that Well, I'm finally going to make myself mop the floor and you're probably gonna laugh at me at the way that I do it because I don't have a mop, so the way that I mop the floor is the way that my aunt taught me to do it a long time ago. Mochi, go! Good boy.